Welcome to the GCSE Art Presentation. Here is a small selection of possible jobs that could lead on from studying art. But it doesn't stop there. Creativity is a widely transferable skill that many employers desire. Being creative is not just about your ability to draw and paint. You are able to develop your ability to think diversely, thinking outside the box and demonstrating a flexible mind that can adapt and respond to any situation effectively. So why choose to study GCSE Art and Design? Well, it teaches you life skills. By undertaking each art project, you will investigate, problem solve, build your confidence, increase your visual awareness and cultural understanding. So the GCSE art course is split into two aspects. You have the practical work and the theory, both of equal importance. You should expect homework. There will be a practical exam. Um, we try to organise workshops where we invite local practising artists to work with you directly. We try to visit as many galleries and exhibitions as possible. We try and enter you into local and regional competitions. And then my favourite time of year is a celebration of the hard work that you have created over the last two years, which is a final end of year exhibition, taking a selection of your finest work and celebrating it with your friends and family. At Merchants Academy, we tend to specialise in painting and drawing. But as you can see, that encompasses so many different aspects from spray paint to acrylic to watercolour to the different techniques that you can apply using paint and the good old solid trusty pencil. Art includes using so many different materials and techniques. Although we predominantly specialise in 2D, be it drawing and painting, we do often venture into the world that is 3D, working in clay, using mod rock, making paper sculptures, you name it, we've probably tried it. Photography and editing is an integral part of any art coursework. We strongly recommend that you take your own photographs and therefore we spend time in lessons teaching you how to take good photos and spending time teaching you how to edit them. If you have any interest at all in digital art, be it animation or using apps and software to draw art digitally, we strongly recommend that you incorporate this also into your coursework. As mentioned before, you are going to develop a whole range of different skills just by studying art. It isn't just simply how good you are at drawing and painting, although that does help. Employers are looking for people who are creative, who are imaginative. They're able to research and investigate and experiment. You will be enhancing your employability skills by studying art. So there is a theory side to the coursework but you will be fully supported with a number of different support materials, be it guided questions, sentence starters, and a glossary of terms. So the coursework is divided into two projects. Traditionally, your portfolio will be worth 60% of your final grade, followed up by an exam project that is worth 40%. Over the course of the two years, we will prepare you for your final 10 hour practical exam at the end of year 11. In year 10, we will start your portfolio, which again is worth 60% of the final GCSE grade. In the January of year 11, you will respond to an exam question, creating sketchbook work up until the date of the exam. You will then create a final artwork or a series of artwork that represents 10 hours worth of work. If you have any questions at all with regard to the GCC Art and Design course, please drop me an email, katie.ford at Merchants Academy.
Academy.